everyone, it's Sam, and <laughs> I got to say this, I'm sure you noticed that thing on my face there, uh, but I was diagnosed with shingles. Today is Thursday, February, February, oh boy, today is September 30th, I think that's Thursday, right, because tomorrow's the first day of October, um, I was diagnosed on Tuesday, I you know, this past weekend, I wasn't feeling well, but I didn't think it was COVID, but like, I thought it might have been a UTI. That's also, you know, a virus or infection that your body's fighting. I had swollen lymph nodes. Uh, the reason I thought I had a UTI was because I felt like I had to like go, uh, go to the bathroom with like this urgency that I haven't had before, even though I just went, there was no burning or anything when I went to the bathroom, but it's, I thought that might have been it, uh, but the back of my neck is really why I went. It was swollen, and there was, like, a bump up there. Um, I, didn't, I never thought that I would be diagnosed with shingles. I, just to give you a little background, I am adopted, and I came to this country when I was six from South Korea. Not much of medical records or family history, so I don't know if I had chicken pox. Well, now this verifies. The positive note of this is now I can confirm that I've had chicken pox, uh, but because I'm an adult now, I, it's called shingles, if you are not familiar with this, and I'm not too familiar with it either, uh, but it comes about because of a weakened immune system, and I have been under severe stress lately, just with a lot of things going on with work has been super stressful. Uh, buying and selling our house, buying, I'm sorry, selling our home and trying to find another house has been stressful. My grandmother, um, that's another stressful situation. I live with her, um, and the dogs. So it was just like a lot and I'm not very good at channeling my stress. So I understand why I have this, but I have to take off this week for the rest of the week of school. Um, because it can be contagious for people who've never had chicken pox. And, um, so it's just better off for me to stay at home. Uh, I am, it's not painful. There's moments of pain because of my swollen lymph node. I think it's like shooting pain. Um, it's, it shoots pain like randomly. So you never know when it's going to happen. So that's painful. Uh, but these blisters on my face, and it is spreading down, <laughs> and it's usually only on one side. This virus is so interesting. It's only on one side. Usually it's in the torso area, I believe, but I got it on my face, and because I've had problems with acne, I thought it was acne, but uh, I think I, it started coming, it started, I'm sorry, the things on my face appeared Sunday, and I'm like, this is so weird for acne. Um, it looks weird, uh, but I figured it's, it wasn't as, like, there wasn't so many blisters. It was just, like, two big ones, and it felt kind of like a cystic acne, it felt kind of like cyst cystic acne at first, but it wasn't, obviously. I, so I went, and I was mentioning, you know, my swollen, when I went to urgent care, I was mentioning my swollen lymph nodes, and, uh... I asked about a UTI, I took a test. Um, I was severely hydrated, they said as well, uh, from my uh, urinalysis, uh, but it wasn't <laughs> It wasn't a UTI. I, I wasn't even gonna mention my rash, but I was like, you know, there's something on my face that was acne, but maybe it's a rash. And S, she was like, let me take a look. The uh, PA was like, let me take a look at your face. Uh, and S, I didn't even have to pull it down all the way. She's like, you have shingles and I'm on antivirals. I'm on my, let's see, I started taking it that Tuesday night. So I'm on my third day. Um, I don't feel any different, but hopefully we caught it fast enough that I, it, the antivirals will help me um, get over this faster. I felt terrible about, call, I felt terrible about taking off work, but this can be contagious for people who don't have it. So it's better if I stay home. Um, and I've just been r trying to rest and relax. Everyone's saying that, that to me to relax, rest and relax. But I don't know how, but I've been trying to, uh, my sister's been helping me watch the dogs a little bit. Well, not Ava because she's nine years old. She can take care of herself basically, but little Daisy, um, she could be a handful. So she's helping me and I'm trying not to go near my grandmother, which is hard because we live in the same house, but it could be done because, 
um, I'll just, you know, when she's out here, I'll go back to the room or whatever, my bedroom. Uh, but never did I think she, the PA would tell me that I have shingles. I just didn't think that was it. But all the signs were there and... <laughs> That's what I have, and everyone's like also telling me you're too young to have it, but it's what it is. I don't know how to handle stressful. It looks a little bit sorry if this grosses you out, um, but it looks a little bit wet because I have Vaseline over it just so that it doesn't dry out. Because when the blisters start opening, because that is what's going to happen, um, I just it's just also a way to deter myself from touching my face. You don't understand if you never had this, it's like the power of a mosquito bite times a hundred. You want to itch your face that badly. Um, and I'm not one to not itch. I always itch my mosquito bite. So this is extremely hard. I've been pretty good about it because I, I know that if I itch it, it's just going to be worse for me. So I've been okay. But the back of my head, there's, I think I have it at the back of my head. And that's what hurts a lot as well. Um, just super uncomfortable and hopefully this will, it's gonna, I know it's gonna get better. I've had cold sores. It's very similar to that. It's in the same family. Um, and I know that it's going to heal, but it's just still waiting for it to heal. Uh, and yeah, it's just very, very, very uncomfortable. I was lucky in a way that it was just here, so I was able to wear my mask over it, but um, I just, it's just so, I am, I was in denial, not really in denial, but it was just when, when I was told that I had shingles, I was like, what? No. Anyway, um, so... I'm just trying to rest and um, I'll keep you updated. Um, yeah, so I will talk to you soon. Hi guys, it is October 1st. Happy October. Um, so the itching that I can handle, but I have been having severe um, shooting sharp pain like right here and it was making it even hard to sleep last night um i started off okay but then i woke up and was up for most of the night i feel like i know i kept on looking at the clock to see what time it was um so i messaged my doctor to see if i can get something because over the counter is not working and lying down seems to cause it to be even more painful so i'm gonna try to see if i could sleep sitting up when i go back it's 9 now 9 a.m now and um i don't want to sleep during the day which i'm actually i don't mind sleeping during the day but i would have liked to get most of my sleep at night um so even if i don't get pain meds from the doctor um maybe i can try a new position but it's just a sharp random pain uh that like a stabbing pain that goes behind my ear and that's where my swollen lymph node is as well and um i think i have blister sorry you can see my blisters there i think there's blisters on the back of my head there too so like even if i move my hair a certain way like shooting pain sometimes happens and um it's just really really painful now uh the itching i thought that would be the most annoying part but it's the pain that's really almost unbearable actually uh so um yeah i just wanted to update you hey guys it seems i only remember to talk to you when i'm in this position uh at this couch here but i as you can tell i am feeling a little bit better today is sunday october 3rd happy birthday sabrina it's my sister's birthday um and i let me show you my uh, blister over there <laughs> What, which I thought was acne at the beginning. So crazy. Uh, so that's gotten much better, but it's starting to fall off, which I believe is when it's most contagious because it could get into 
like people could touch it, it could fall into somewhere. Um, and it's spread here. So I, the mask covers this, but it doesn't cover like around here. And I have it in the back of my head as well. Uh, so I just feel like I'm still contagious and I don't want to rush back into work just to be stressed again. So I'm going to make I'm going to take Monday and Tuesday off. I have a doctor's appointment with my primary, primary on Tuesday, and hopefully she will give me the green light. I plan to go back on Wednesday. Uh, and the only reason is I was waiting was I've had really bad nerve pain, and not everybody gets that, but I know it's related because it's just here, and that's where it's usually the nerve pain is where you have your uh, the blisters. And... Day three and four, I think it's day three, was day three and four, uh, was terrible. After my diagnosis, was terrible. The first night was okay, the second night, eh, but the third and fourth night, the shooting pain that I had was almost unbearable. And I have a pretty high pain tolerance or threshold, and I was like, on my knees just like trying to find a good position and it was and it's worse at night the nerve pain and I was reading up on it and they say that that happens happens frequently or more often than not like the nerve pain is just worse at night sometimes and the nerve pain the itching I can handle I think I've mentioned that several times in this video I feel like but the nerve pain and there's not really anything you can do about that um, I was even going to go back to urgent care, uh, but I decided to hold off and I'll see my doctor on Tuesday and we'll see what she, if she gives me anything because I still have it, but it's not as frequent. It was, I think I was describing it the last time I spoke to you. It's random, but it's frequent, if that makes any sense. So it's like anywhere from when I was getting the sharp shooting pains, it was anywhere from five seconds to 30 seconds. And you just never knew. And I think that also made me stressed out. It's a very stressful uh, thing to get when you when everyone's telling you to relax, <laughs> to have this. Um, I, I think I caught it in time uh, when I went to urgent care because I feel like this is healing much faster, but the nerve pain is still there. And I wanted to go almost all day without having nerve pain uh, before going back because the nerve pain, you just can't think, you just you just feel the pain. And again, I don't wanna be set back. I want to be able to move forward. Hi, today is Monday, October 4th. And you know what that reminds me, I'm looking at my calendar, it says September. Uh, I just checked my desk too. I haven't like done like any paperwork or anything like that really taking care of stuff since I've had diagnosed with shingles. Uh, and I found something that I needed to mail like last week. So <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow. Um, anyway, I went to the doctor today instead of tomorrow, which was good. Uh, but she essentially, she told me I should stay home another week which was not what I was expecting. I thought she would say, yeah, it looks good. You're clear to go. Um, but she said that from the, it's really two weeks from the start of the rash, which would be, I would go back on Monday um, of next week. That makes sense because my rash started about two weeks ago. It was started in, I think, September 26th. That was a Sunday. But I'm ready to go back, I think. I mean, I still have the pain, but it's not keeping up me up at night. And it's it's a, like a subtle pain. The doctor did give me something for it because she said that's going to last longer than the rash. Uh, at one point, though, the pain was so bad that I thought I would have to go to the hospital or something. Because it was just nonstop. Well, you guys saw me <laughs> the previous days. Uh, so... I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I don't want to. I work with three and four year olds, so they're very young. They might have not had chicken pox, and I just, um, I know morally I should stay home, but I don't know. I just feel so weird about staying home for this long, and um, I'm lucky I have the day saved up in my, you know, um, I can take the days that I, I could take longer too, but um, I feel better, a lot better than when this started in the middle of it. Um, 
so I'll get back to you, let you know what me and admin and administration decided to do because I will contact them later tonight. Not too late. I guess it's 6.30 p.m. I went to the doctor at 3. Let's see. I was there from like 3 o'clock to 4.30. You know how it is at doctor's offices. But we were talking about my, it was supposed to be a physical, but we ended up talking a lot about my shingles. And she, she was like, you're so young to get it. You can't even get the vaccine for it. Um, because they don't give you the vaccine until you're, uh, I think, believe, I believe age of 50. And then, um, we were just talking about, um, other things that I needed to get done. Like I have to do blood work. Usually you do it a week before you go see the doctor, but I just was able to get this appointment last minute. Um, so I'll do that tomorrow. I, I'm able to go and there's just a few other things that I have to work out health wise. Um, I've had stomach issues. So I scheduled for a GI appointment, gastro, um, I forgot. To, sorry, my brain can't think anymore. The, that, that place calls a gastroenterology, I believe. Um, anyway, not have anything to do with shingles. Well, maybe it does. They're all connected. Maybe. Um, yeah. So yeah, she was like, yeah, you really should take off this week. And I was like, really? Um, <laughs> yeah, so I will get back to you, let you know what's going on. Hi, today is Tuesday, October 5th. I um, had to get blood early this morning uh, for my physical. Anyway, totally something different than shingles talk. Uh I was feeling a lot better yesterday. I think you could tell from um, the clip uh, from yesterday. But then that night, I started feeling um, not so great again. The The neck pain was like consistent. Um, but then I woke up and it was fine again. So at night, it's just really bad, the nerve pain. Uh, but you can see right there. Um, I didn't talk to my administration yet, but I will later on today and um, we'll see what they say. I just spoke with my teacher, my classroom teacher that I work with and I told her the same thing that I just told you now that I'm feeling better, but the doctor says that I should stay home for the rest of the week and um, we'll see what administration says about it. Um, and I'm just feeling tired and... Um, that's really about it. I'm feeling much, much better. I'm still in a lot of pain, obviously, at night. But during the day, I feel okay. I don't know. Um, I definitely don't want to rush this. That's rush going back. That's why I took off yesterday and today. Um, I'm going a little stir-crazy. <laughs> the, the staying home, uh... And there's so much I could do at home, but with the new puppy and everything, uh, which I still haven't introduced you guys to the new puppy. I will soon. Um, it's just um, hard to get a lot of things done. Anyway, um, I will update you with what's going to happen with the rest of the week. Well, guys, this is my view for the rest of the week. There's little Miss Daisy right there. I'm hoping to do a separate video on her. And don't worry, Ava's right here. And when I was posting pictures on Instagram, people were like, did Ava pass away? And I'm like, no. Uh, they do not get along. That's all I'll say about that. Yeah, so admin actually contacted me first and was like, do you think you're going to come in tomorrow? And I had said to them that... The, my primary said that I should stay home because I'm still contagious, but I said that I feel better and I want to come back and I asked them to advise me what to do and they're like, you should really listen to your doctor and just get better. So it was great to have that support. Uh, I, I'm disappointed actually because, well, one, I'm kind of tired of being home. Uh, I know I need the rest, and I know it's for a valid reason that I've been out and that I continue to be out, but it's just so hard for me to know that they're, it's not like they're suffering over there because they have coverage for me, but like pre-K is so difficult already, and then when you change things up by switching grown-ups around, it's just, it's hard. It just kind of makes everything a little bit harder, but I understand why I have to stay home, and it's better that I stay home. I 
probably sounded crazy to you when I was like, yeah, I want to, I want to go back. I think I'm going to go back. Uh, this is a sign for me to just take the time to rest and get better. Um, shingles is no joke. I, I really, I knew that it was something that older people got, um, and that it was a version of chicken pox, but I didn't realize all of the nerve pain that came with it. And, um, that's, is just horrible, horrible stuff. So take care of you, take care of yourselves, guys. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be home. If any, if I feel any more symptoms or anything, I'll come back and update you. Uh, but I, I was, I was saying to myself, you know, since I'm feeling better, like, what am I gonna do? And I thought I would start kind of like packing things that I know we're not going to use right away and that it doesn't matter if it's packed away. Like we have this china cabinet that I'm going to try to sell uh, and it's filled with dishes that I will pack away and maybe I'll start doing that um, because we are definitely selling our home. We haven't found a home yet, but we are selling our home. The buyers closed on their house a couple of weeks ago and um, we're just waiting for the next step now. Uh, but yeah, I will keep you updated as long as I am, I have this. And it, I, I even looked up, like, when do you know this is over? Um, but the rash takes about a couple of weeks. The nerve pain, unfortunately, that will last for a, a lot longer. Um, and that's what I've been reading online and also what my primary told me, which stinks um, but more reasons to take care of yourselves, guys. Hi, everyone. Today, oh, <laughs> don't you lick these. I thought I would update you. Today is, there it goes, not too bad. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, and I'm feeling much, much, much better. Uh, the pain, the rash is almost healed up, uh, I feel like. Uh, unfortunately, this is why I have to stay home because as it heals, it's like falling off and yucky. Uh, but as far as the pain, the pain during the day, it's fine. Like I don't really notice it at all. But at night is when it starts to like have shooting pain, sharp pain and things like that. Uh, so I'm taking medication for, medication for that, but only at night because it's supposed to make you drowsy during the day. Um, but other than that, I'm definitely feel like I am ready to go back next Tuesday because we have off on Monday for Columbus Day slash Indigenous People Day. And, um, I'm glad about that. I know I needed the rest. It's hard to stay home this week just because I do feel much better, but I, I'm glad to be home just because I didn't want to rush into anything and I don't want to get anybody sick. Um, especially the kids, because more likely than not, they might have not had chicken pox. Uh, anyway, that's my update for today, and I'll see you another day. Hi, today is Friday. Happy Friday. It is October 8th, and just to give you an update on my blisters, not looking bad at all. Um, these never... I shouldn't be touching it. I gotta wash my hands after this. Uh, these never really came to become a blister. They were just bumpies in the same, like, the back of my ear and, like, back of my head over here. That back of my head, it's not. So, great news. I only had brief periods of pain and it was, that was really it last night. Um, but if you, if I touch the back of my head there, it's still bumpy and that hurts the most. Um, my lymph node is, I really have to search for it now, but it's, it's still there. Um, but it's not like, there's not a lot of heat coming off of it and it's not hurting me. Um, cause I could feel it like pulsing almost. Uh, yeah. So I'm feeling much better. I'm have a lot more energy to do things. Uh, I'm still tired. Um, and our process of one of, there's a few things that are kind of coming together now in terms of our house and 
um, everyone's living situation, which I'm excited about, but can't say too much because it's still early stages of everything. Uh, actually, today for our selling our home, uh, nothing to do with shingles, but those of you who are following uh, my journey here, uh, selling my house. Uh, so the appraiser came today, the bank appraiser, and he was here for about maybe two minutes. He just took pictures. I thought it was going to be kind of like an inspection, uh, but all he did was take pictures and leave. Um, so that was kind of stressful because I thought it was going to he was going to be here for like an hour. Uh, but happy that he wasn't, and hopefully we'll get some good news from that. Uh, but yeah, I um, am glad that this is kind of, uh, I'm on the mend, and uh, I think this is like, it's supposed to be, the rash, it's definitely crusted over, and it's drying now. Um, I think this is the end of the blister part of the process and the pain though it's called post I think herpatic neur uh, neuropathy neuropathy <laughs> H no uh, P H N I think they call that um, it's just pain that you get after the shingles is over, it gets ongoing, and I, uh, like I mentioned, I have medication for that, so, um, I, I take it at night, because it's supposed to somewhat make you drowsy, it doesn't make me drowsy, I think I mentioned that before, um, and then they gave me, my doctor also gave me extra strength, extra strength Advil slash Motrin, um, but I think they sell that over the counter, <laughs> uh, but I have a prescription for it for some reason. Uh, I think the last time I will talk to you is maybe Sunday, Monday to let you know how the weekend went. And then I go back to work finally on Tuesday. Yeah, I, it's almost feels like the first day back to work. I feel like I've been out for that long, but it's only been eight days, uh, really, because I started off. I went to work Monday and Tuesday, uh, but then I was out for the rest of the week, and then, of course, this week. Uh, yeah. Hey, guys. Sorry it's, I'm so yellow. I, it's really dark out here. Um, yeah, so I'm parked at work. I can't believe it. The traffic was okay. Um, I was like, you know, I've been out for about two weeks now. I wonder if things are different. No, things are the same. Traffic was okay. Um you know they're doing construction far away from where I am but it affects me uh, I think they opened up they had closed down one lane and there's two instead of three uh, but I think they opened up all lanes again for a short time and so traffic was a little bit better parking ugh, that was tough somebody I got lucky somebody left um, and now I'm doing a little bit of makeup not too much my usual Somebody even pulled up next to me and was like, are you leaving? And I was like, no. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so I wanted to close out this shingles vlog because I probably will be calling it something like that. I'm feeling much better. Definitely lacking energy um, just because, you know, I hadn't been going to sleep on a... I didn't have like that great of a schedule. I just slept when I was tired um, because I didn't have work and I have to worry about it. Yesterday was a little tough. I remember looking at the clock and it being like 11.30, 12-ish, then 1. Uh, but after that, I was asleep until 5.50 when my alarm goes off. Uh, not the greatest, but not the worst either. And I am excited to be back. I don't have pain. I haven't had pain like a sharp shooting pain in the last couple of days which is great but I just feel like a dull ache kind of right here and that's where my my lymph node is still swollen oh as you can see my rash is almost gone it's just kind of like dry skin at this point I think that might be a pit bull <laughs> uh but over here so feeling better and uh I'm grateful that I had the time to be able to take off because some people don't get that you know but I'm feeling better, and I hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.